Laura's Stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I just wanted to share with you this awesome technique and I love it because you get to see both sides of the designer series paper. So when you have that complete struggle where you don't know which side to use because they're both just so fabulous, then this is the perfect card for you. You can do this card and you just have that little peekaboo where your designer series paper is folded back and you actually get to see both patterns on either side. So it's super fabulous and this is actually a very simple technique to do. So what we did is we started with a sweet sugar plum card base. So this measures um, five and a half by eight and a half and it is folded in half to make your card base. Then I have a piece of the Succulent Garden Designer Series paper. So you can really use either side as, um, as your focal point. So you could do green with uh, the gray flowers uh, folded back or the opposite like I did here. And I'm just going to bring in my paper trimmer. This piece of designer series paper measures uh, four inches by five and a quarter inches. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the halfway mark on that five and a quarter, which is two and five eighths. So we're going to go ahead and here, let me see if I can slide this up farther so that you can see. So we're going to find um, two and five eighths. So one, two, three, four, and five. Five, so just past the halfway mark there of two and a half. And we're going to actually place our cutting blade at two inches. So it's at two inches deep, and then we're gonna go towards ourselves and cut. So we're at um, the halfway mark side to side, or long ways, and then we're just gonna cut two inches in. And then you're just going to simply fold back those pieces corner to corner. And of course, you know, if it's not exactly corner to corner, that's no problem, just as long as it's folded back and has that little peekaboo look. And you don't want to um, pull too hard because sometimes it could rip right there um, in that little spot that you cut. So just be a little, you know, careful on that piece and just fold that back and we'll use our bone folder for that nice strong crease and I actually did use a little bit of adhesive um, of snail adhesive on the back side just to seal those down to make sure that they were nice and secure. So next I have a piece of Whisper White and this measures two and a quarter by four and a quarter. And that's actually the little piece that's gonna be our peekaboo piece underneath here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna add some snail adhesive to this little invisible triangle right here. Oh, sorry. This little triangle right here. And then also on this little triangle up here. And then I'm going to match these tips to the edge of that Whisper White card stock. And there you have that nice little peekaboo piece. So I mean, you could always do your card like this, or like this, or you know, side to side, whichever way you decide to do it. Then for the greeting, I used one from the Rose Wonder stamp set. So I love this one because of course it's got flowers, but then I find that the greetings are just super perfect. So I use the You're In My Thoughts and Prayers because that's one of them that you kind of need, even though it might not be the most fun card to create all the time, but it is definitely one of those that you need to have on hand uh, just in case. So um, I like to have a few of those on hand and I thought this one was very um, simple or simplistic without you know a lot of bling and craziness going on so it was perfect for that um, style of card. So I'm just going to stamp that down in Sweet Sugar Plum which is the same as our card base. And now we can go ahead and we can actually add that to our card base. And I just realized I did this one backwards from the sample, which is completely fine, um, but it gives you a little bit of an idea that you can really go either way. So here we're just going to add that to our card front. And then for this flower, I actually used that from the Flower Shop stamp set, which is this one here. And it has the coordinating punch too. So I used, um, oh actually I used this flower here, which you could always use this one or any of them um, that you wish. 
So what I did for that is I took a piece of Calypso Coral and I stamped the flower in Calypso Coral. So we're just going to stamp color on color so it gives that little, uh, you know, darker like watermark look. And then now I'm going to slide in the punch and punch it out. So there we have our fabulous little flower. And of course I had to add the flower to my card with some Stampin' Dimensionals to give it a little bit of pop. And so we'll peel off the backs of those dimensionals and place it like right over that little um, crease right there. Just in case, you know, it does rip or um, in case it gets a little gunky or anything, then you can um, place that right over that little piece there and you'll never even know if something happens. So that's a great way to cover that up. And then for the center of the flower, I used one of the amazing uh, white perfect accents. I have super been loving these and using them on lots of my projects. They're so flat, but yet they give so much to your project. And then to set it off just a little bit more, I added some of the linen thread. So since I did my card like this, I think I'm just going to um, do the linen thread real tight here in the crease. So instead of kind of pushing it out farther, I'm going to do it right there in that crease and just going to wrap it around twice and then tie it into a bow. Now since this is so thin, a lot of times I go ahead and I do a double knot to make sure it's nice and tight and secure and then I go ahead and, um, and do my bow afterwards. Sometimes doing it where it's not tight yet um, before you do that double knot, it can be so difficult and here I am struggling trying to wrap this around. So um, bow making I know can be very difficult for uh, lots of crafters, so when you get it down to an art, then you are golden. Just going to pull these to make them a little smaller. And so there we have that little bow, and I could always rotate that up a little higher or even a little lower. Just simply squeeze the card together a little bit. I think I'm going to go up a little higher. And there we go. So now we have it like that, whereas the other one I did it on this side. So this side um, is over on the far side, but then this one I did it backwards, so I just put it right there on that crease in the center of the card, or on the side of the card there. So super cute, super simple, and a great little way to show off both sides of your designer series paper when you just can't decide which one is the one that you want to hide, so now you don't have to worry about that. Of course, I'll be posting pictures of these on my blog, laurastamppad.com, so you can check those out there, as well as lots of other samples using the Succulent Garden Designer Series paper. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new as I post every Tuesday and Thursday. And let me know in the comments below if there's a special technique or stamp set that you would like to see me do next. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye.